What's up, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're going to be checking out the new aftermarket part available with Season 5, Week 1. This one is going to be the Jack Widemouth Barrel Kit. It's going to be for the Moore's Sniper Rifle. It changes the ammo type to ball bearings, increases the ADS speed, increases aim walking speed, decreases damage, gun kick control, vertical recoil, bullet velocity, and range, and you cannot use a barrel, optic, or ammunition attachment for this weapon. Now, we are going to be trying it in our normal routine. We're going to start out with pack punch level one. We're going to go into the, the tier one zone here, complete a bounty, and we're going to kind of upgrade from there as we need to. So the first step, we do obviously need to get a bounty. There's a pack punch machine on the way. Oh, I did not want to ping the truck. And we are going to go ahead and melee that so I can keep my camo. We're going to get this journey on the road. Getting the show on the road, I guess I should say. We made our way over to our bounty. Yeah, now shooting ball bearings does sound extremely interesting for this weapon. The uh, the sniper rifles in general kind of struggle because of how they function in this game. Now, obviously, the more sniper rifle is kind of functional because you can shoot the ground, blast the zombies, knock them down. But I'm very interested to see how this actually goes with this specific attachment because swapping that out for ball bearings does sound fun, but I'm not exactly sure how that's going to do against some of these targets now we can go ahead oh didn't even pop my perks funny enough we almost forgot boom let's pop all that and we have pack a punch level one go ahead and pop that this should be interesting okay well, it's not doing negative damage this does look achievable this might be kind of a rough run now if you guys are interested in the loadout i'm running in today's video make sure you check the pin comment down below where i'm always sure to share the attachments for easy access that way, if you guys don't even want to watch the video, you don't have to. So far, this is an interesting time. Now, I expected it to be kind of fun. I do expect it to be better for zombies than, obviously, the elites here. But this is going to make for a great adventure. Good news. Oh, it can shoot really fast. Okay. Well, that's a W. I was not expecting that. I guess I should have started doing that sooner. Well, let's just... Boom. And you have a decent amount of ammo. Could be really easy to run out of ammo, but I guess we'll wait and see how that actually goes. All right, let's go in there. Now we know the rate of fire is significantly faster. Let's test it out on these zombies. And not a lot of damage, but I mean, we are only pack a punch level one. Probably gonna have to use the purple tool as soon as we get this bounty, but it does shoot extremely fast. And it is full auto. I mean, you just hold it down. I, at first, I was still spamming it, anticipating I would have to, and then obviously I just decided to try and see if it's full auto, and it is. I mean, pack a punch, no rarity. It's doing something. Gotta give it a little bit of credit. It's not completely useless. Make sure we played up. <laughs> it's so interesting. Kind of fun. Honestly, this is kind of fun. Oh, well, here goes the tier two bounty. Hopefully it's not a disciple because I feel like that is the least likely we, that we would be successful. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to use this uh, epic tool pretty soon here. Even though this thing is fun. I mean, it's doing some something. You just spam. It's so it's so weird. It almost feels like an accident, you know, the way the animation looks. It looks so silly. Okay, we'll just sit here and blast. Can't break his hand. That's great news. That's oh, a tier three zombie. Not really sure why that made its way over here. Come on, disciple. I just want to get rid of this disciple. They give us a jug. Nice, we'll hold on to that for later. I know that was a little ridiculous. We only pack a punch level one. Fighting a mimic, I'm probably gonna go ahead and upgrade this because I don't have the most faith we're gonna be able to take this on without getting completely smoked. Okay, we made it over here. Obviously a lot of zombies. Go zombies, I'm gonna need some ammo. Everybody should get together. Go ahead and get away from this guy. Oh, look at that block. Wait. Hold on. Maybe I didn't believe. 
I'm just not that f oh, like I'm so slow. Granted, there is some plates here that is helpful. I don't know how good the range is. That's okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm gonna go purple here. That played in. No, we are doing no like nothing. Like it's actually doing nothing. I feel like it's actually doing nothing. Maybe it only does damage from far away. Is it like the opposite? I don't know. I don't understand how it's even. I don't know. I'm confused. It looks like I've done damage to it, but it doesn't look like I'm doing anything to it. I guess there is some way to. Let's see. I spam. No, that does not work. It does crit, though, I think. Maybe it's the crits doing big damage. It's all risk because I can't really get hit here. Oh, latency. Oh, that's scary. Blocked it. We have a problem though. Okay, hopefully that takes them down. This is a little bit of a process. Got some more ammo. Now hopefully we can actually lock this in. A hundred plus ammo. He's gonna kill me. No, we got him. This is rough though. Holy PhD though, W. Free PhD. I mean, now it's pretty good against the zombies. This is like the opposite, right? This is one of those weapons. I guess it's the same as its normal form. The normal form is pretty bad against the elites, I think. At least as far as I remember. It's just good for crowd control, similar to the RGL. But in this case, obviously, we're able to do better against the zombies. What did we get? We got a Mangler. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Yeah, pretty much... That's pretty good damage against the actual zombies, too. As long as you're ads it seems like. I wonder what the big difference is between hipfire and ADS, but... Normally, I like ADS better. Okay, Mangler, let's see what you got. Where you at? Try ADS. Where's the Tier 3 squad come from already? One thing is, though, as soon as you plate... It actually like disrupts the entirety of it. Like you stop shooting quite as fast, which kind of makes sense. It is kind of a negative, right? Why is this? Why is this squad of dudes so strong? It's actually kind of crazy. Tier three gods are coming through. Not really sure what I did to get them to come over, but it's like, definitely pretty decent for this zone, for sure. Tier three, obviously, like we're pack one purple. I wouldn't expect that. I'm expecting this guy to stop blasting me for a second, though. Okay. It's nice to know that it goes... Okay, we're not going to get this insta-kill, but we're going to try to get this guy out of here. It's weird. It doesn't feel like it has the same aim assist because it just keeps aiming in and out, right? But it doesn't lock on either. Eh, I mean, we're trying. What is hitting me? Probably another zombie. Yeah, okay, this thing is not that strong, I would say. But maybe you just can't break through the armor? That actually would make sense. I mean, we're not there. Oh. Saw some crit marks. Problem is, dude has such a range. Come on. There we go. Burning through our plates that way. Let's get another backup self. We might need that. Gets a little bit rough against these guys. Oh, Serpent tonight. Apparently I hadn't done that. Just goes to show how much I enjoyed the moors before this actually came out. Good reason to try it again, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what I think I want to do now is go ahead and pack a punch to level 2, because this thing obviously... It's a bit lackluster in some elements. I just got like in right there. I went to try to aim at the Merc. Come on. Get this Merc out of here. Okay, get the zombie. Not super strong against them, but I wasn't expecting it would be. Wow, that just slammed me. 
I don't even think I was visible that long. I mean, it's pretty good against them, though. Dude, how are you doing so much damage so quickly? Okay, we need to sneak in here. Grab that. Get the heck out of there. We do not want to deal with those guys. Well, it's a good thing we went pack a bunch level two because not only did we get a disciple, it's right next to the storm. So that has me a little bit worried. I might have to try to make it not right next to the storm or it might juice it up, make it even stronger, which I'm not really interested in. Where is it? Where is my disciple? Okay, good. We are pack a bunch level two, so hopefully we can make something happen here. And we are at a ammo resupply. Good news is destroying the zombies. Kind of fun, actually. This is one of the most fun aftermarket parts we've had in a while, in my opinion, because it's just so silly. Even though I think in some ways it's not the best. But, I mean, we might be fighting this disciple for the rest of our life. Might have been one where it's like, oh, you want to do some other contracts? Could have done it. But hey, it's worth a try, try right? A little bit of a challenge. It's gonna make it a little silly. Just gotta make sure I'm close enough I can break the shield. I think it's just really hard to crit with it. That's the problem with it. If it could crit way more often, it'd be less of an issue. You can't you can't even take advantage of Deadshot the way it's designed. Maybe if you no, it doesn't feel like it works. I'll be honest, it does not feel like it does anything. Okay. Wait, did it get healed up? I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Come on. I think we're doing damage to it, I just don't know how much. Why does it seem like it does way more damage from far away? That seems really weird. It's either that or there's like some delayed damage going on. Uh, yep. Because it seems like from farther away, it looks like it's collecting way more damage than when we were close. Maybe that's just how it works? And I'm a little bit confused. Not normally how it works. Need this thing to stop moving though. So I'm taking all the zombies out, it moves even more. Okay, we just sit here and shoot. I guess I'm hitting it through whatever. I, I'm not even worried about it. It's kind of weird because it does feel like it sort of connects easily. This dude is teleporting everywhere. Come on, man. Yeah, like further away, like right here. This thing doesn't know what to do. I've never had one of these fly around so much through the building. Where'd you go? I like I hear you. There you are. His audio is messed up. I think we might actually be able to do this. Holy. Okay, so not good for the bounty. I mean, it is, it's pack two purple. Like not good for the bounty. Let's just say that. We can refill ammo. I mean, we have Insta. These guys are driving through the storm. That's kind of brave. Let's see if I can hit the storm caller from here. Not doing anything, even with insta kill. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna fight it. More of a hypothetical. Let's see what we do. Wait, does it do more damage if I hip fire it? Why did I not think about that till now? Don't think so. Okay, I, I did have the right idea the whole time. That's good. At least I wasn't tripping. All right, we're not gonna waste any more time with that. Let's get let's get this thing going. Want to go fight a mega abomination? If it seems like it's a struggle, I might go ahead. I don't know what to do here. I might just go pack a punch to level three or see if a triangle is available. But hopefully, we'll be able to take on the mega abomination. I feel like that'd be fun. Uh, what? Oh, this guy killed it. I was like, what? Stormcaller defeated. The guy shot it a few times. I thought something crazy happened. Okay, well, there is. Can't even hit it from this far. Mega Abomination. Hopefully, we have a good chance against it. At least we know the strat. Over the strat will carry us. All right, come on. Well, that was a lot easier to crit than I thought it was going to be. 
I'm not even, I wouldn't even say I'm in maximum damage range. There's no way this thing is that great against the Mega. It looked like it was doing more damage than I thought, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the, maybe it's just the napalm burst doing some extra. No, not really. Okay, whacked me into oblivion here. Hope we can break the first face so we can save ourselves some plates here. Oh, we broke it. Nice. I can avoid getting hit for a second. Okay, we're looking okay here. We can stand in between. This is so scary. Whoa, why are you attacking me? Just do your laser. It'll be fine. Okay, everything's not working in my favor. This, these things keep exploding. Come on, man. Yes, there we go. Let's go. Laser it up. Okay, I, didn't, I saved myself. I'm just trying not to take damage. Okay, should be good. Stand between. What is that? That's a really buggy thing I've never seen. Hey, if we're getting low on ammo, let's grab that. Like half the ammo back. From 58 to 93 or something like that. Okay, we should, we're looking good here. It's funny, that laser's bugged. I've never, that is a new one. Never seen that before. Well, we're all learning here. Not good for mega bombs. Not good at all. But it's absolutely incredible for the zombies themselves. Okay, eventually here, Mega, it is time for you to be, be, be done here. Thank you. Holy smokes, that was a battle. At least he gave, you a, he gave us a three-pointer. The laser. I wonder if it's still, like, actually a damaging thing. No. That would be crazy. All right, let's go ahead and head into Tier 3 Zone. Okay, I made it over here. I'm going to buy some extra perks because they always help. Why not? Let's see if this thing's available. You know what would be really nice is if we had some plates, which we do not have. And I just used a self-revive, getting hit by five zombies as I climbed up the ledge into tier three. It's kind of unfortunate. But hey, we're here. I do have a legendary tool. If I really wanted to use it, we could. I do need to get some plates. Maybe I'll hit some plates real quick off the buy. That might be the play. Since this weapon is the way it is, it might be very, very, very helpful. Time for the triangle. I don't know how I get these lobbies or how I get so lucky, but... 30 minutes into a game, we have a triangle available. Let's go. Zombie spawned on me. At least we're able... Oh, we changed you. Brain rotted. You are brain rotted. That is a lot of zombies. Where are they coming from? Oh. Now we know why I went down as soon as I got in the zone. What are we talking about here? Bro, holy. The amount of stuff trying to chase me right now is kind of unbelievable. Like, I'm waiting for the zombies to be clear. There's a mangler up there. Oh, this is kind of chalked. Nope, nope. You guys aren't hitting me. That's not the way this is going to go. Okay, we're going to try to get these guys out of here. I don't know how many more zombies we need, but we got to be close. They're just so fast. Look how fast they are. And I got just too many uh, freaking specials. Okay, there we go. That was just absolutely crazy. Yeah, it is, a, it is very rough with this weapon. But it is fun, I will say. It is still fun to use because the way it works. But holy. We got to get this Pack-A-Punch level 3 on. We normally wait, but we can't be waiting. All right, now maybe we'll stand a chance. This is not one of those weapons that just can't be upgraded. It could still be fun. But at the end of the day, it might need a little bit more of an upgrade to make it to that point. Okay, I'm getting absolutely smoked here. What is everything chasing me for? Give me a break. Yikes. 
getting attacked there. I just came over here to cancel this escort, wherever the heck it is, so that I can make sure or give us opportunities for other things to spawn in. Don't think we'd be uh, in a good boat trying to do an escort, at least not with this weapon. Oh man, this triangle over here is available too. That's kind of insane. wonder if the other one's also available. All three? Could have got all three? I don't need any of them. No, someone only grabbed one. This one did grab this one, so that is, that's cool. At least there's some good people out there in the Urzikstan world, leaving triangles behind for other people. That's not the one I did, right? No, I did the other one. So I didn't do that one too. So there it is. Someone actually did leave it behind. I'm going to end up dying here. Just fast enough. This group behind us is inevitably pretty large. All right, at least now we're able to blast in one spot. We've got to find its strengths. Now, this thing is definitely not broken, but it is, it can be a bit of fun, 100%. When, it, when you're playing MWZ, I think part of the reason you play is to have fun. So 100%, I would say it's at least worth checking out for yourself. You just don't have to rush in order to unlock it because it's not like extremely busted. Granted, we still could upgrade to Legendary, which I'll probably do after this raid weapon stash, just because of the weapon. Let's just see how it does, just in case. I mean, it's doing pretty good at the crowd control aspect. Kind of funny how bad it is against the uh, bounties, but it seemed like the damage was pretty inconsistent for the most part. There were some times where I felt like it was doing significantly more, and other times where I felt like it wasn't doing much at all. And we were just shooting in the exact same place over and over and over. But it could be related to the, the critical damage just not being able to be capitalized on. If it was doing crit hits every single time, then it probably would be fairly busted. I mean, it is really making this easy. I might run out of ammo eventually. Jump down here. Oh, we're back to full. Well, everything stopped spawning in the last... 20%. We just basically shot for the entirety of this contract in one place. The blast radius is nice. Great for zombies. Bad against the specials. And the zombies in this zone are just so incredibly fast. It can be kind of overwhelming too. With a weapon like this. But hey, we're doing good damage. I think with the legendary it'll be good. It'll be able to hold it down. Let's see what we get. Epic tool, might hold on to that, why not? We got a mangler here trying to attack us. Alright, let's go ahead. Legendary time for the rest of this match. Mangler? I mean, it's definitely better. Definitely a little bit better. Mangler was a bit tough. Now we grab a bounty. I have a feeling this is going to be terrible. Mega Abomination. Well, it's the best possible option, I feel like. At least we can kind of... Use a strategy to complete this instead of having to deal with the inevitable from most of the other other ones we fight. The Mangler is usually pretty chill. The Mimic, though, that would be a tough fight because it takes forever to fight it. Just constantly getting hit with the orbs. Disciple, obviously, have to deal with the leeching ability, which we've seen with this is already quite a tough thing for it to overcome. Okay, here's our Mega Bomb. Gotta get it in this direction, and then I gotta get up here. Up up here. Need to blast these guys. I'm gonna throw that down there, and then I'm gonna start shooting at him, hopefully. Can't tell, did we already blast one? Oh, that's a Mimic. Mimic's coming. Getting hit by so much stuff. See, this is the thing that's crazy to me. It's like out of nowhere, I just get... I'm getting mimicked. Like, everything's good until there's too much stuff. No, Mimic, no. I'm trying to fight against you. Oh, we might have it. Oh, there we go. We cleared the Mimic. Part one. Oh, we gotta try to get through all these guys. It does take a crazy amount of, to, to take them out. But this is definitely not an overpowered or insanely strong weapon, like I've already said. But it's just good enough at the crowd control that it's, it's doing pretty good. Okay, now we can actually try to see how we do shooting this guy over here. One of these faces should be almost gone. 
At least this one we can hit the crits. No, you damaged me. You trolled me. You quiet little wretchling. Oh, we finally might have destroyed a face? Nice. Okay. We might... Well, we can't run out of ammo. Because there's the ammo cache. So we might run out of ammo doing this. This is absolutely silly. But it's always, it's always fun, right? Can we get closer just in case? Definitely broke the face, but I do need to be careful. Okay, well that's cool. Not very often you can get this close, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Come on! We get up here. Nice little climb. Ah, you can't get me now. Oh wait, I lied. Maybe you can. Hey. <laughs> Let's go, we got it. Holy smokes, that was an adventure. That was actually a little bit of an adventure there. That was kind of fun. Now I know there's like no chance we actually are able to do the escort. Is there anything else? Another bounty. So to say there's not like a... I mean, we could try the escort. We're going to inevitably fail. Do I have a backup self? I do have a backup self. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's fail. I'll fail for the for the vibes. I mean, if we succeed, that'd be crazy. To be completely honest. We do have two decoys. I mean, it kind of depends on how many specials we get here. Take the Hellhound down in one shot. We were pack three legendary, so if this thing's going to be able to do it, I mean, this would be it. Shatter Blast activated. I almost brought Shatter Blast for this specifically, but I wasn't really sure how this was going to function. Hey, I don't like that we're getting partied up on already. Well, this is this is pure shambles. There's no way you can do this. <laughs> I mean, it has no range, but look how many freaking elites we got. I just said something about that. There's literally There's no way. I mean, not elites, but specials. Dude, there's more. What are we talking about? Yeah, this thing's chalked. I mean, I'm out of ammo anyway, but regardless. Yes, I could use the jug. That's not the point. I don't want to use the jug. The fact that this is even a thing is crazy. Like, what? How many zombies we got? Everybody dying, everybody dying. Boom. I'm gonna have to go for these guys. They're still going. Okay. Got rid of everybody over there. What the heck is going on? Yeah, there's no way. Look how much stuff is here. Why is there so much stuff attacking me at the end of this match? There's absolutely no way. We, this thing is 0%. Okay, there we go. I was like, what are we talking about? Yeah, we got a, a absolutely overwhelmed by zombies immediately. Dude, what? Like, why so hectic? Because it's the last few minutes of the game and not a single person is in my game? That is just actually crazy. I knew we'd fail, though. I just didn't think it would be that fast, but as soon as I st started seeing the groups, I was like, yeah, this is GG's. Absolutely GG. It was like two disciples, three manglers, one mangler in the back. Like, absolutely chalk. What else is left? Just bounties. We might be pushing it here, but we're going to try to get this out last. And then see if we can complete it before we got to get out of this. The zone isn't, isn't here in tier three, but it's pretty close right down there so it's gonna push us out very quickly but i think we can pull it off it's gonna be again a tight tight little squeeze of time but definitely worth it considering we can't do much else not gonna do another bounty that's not gonna go well and this thing is this thing is very limited 
It is fun. It has been fun. The amount of zombies we got for that escort was kind of insane. So there was probably no hope there. Regardless, because we were never going to clear them out quick enough. Mostly the elites, or the specials. I keep calling them elites. Because the reality is with those, is you can't clear them fast enough, and they just, they're doing all the damage. Oh my god. I just want to activate my contract. I just want to activate it. Dude, look at this. Bro, like, please. Can I activate it? Can I activate it? Yes. Oh my god, it's even more scary in those situations. With 37 seconds till the gas starts spreading. Where's my... I gotta ping this. We gotta get this, and then we gotta get the heck out of here. This has been an adventure and all, but... Holy. This thing makes things really tough. Because I can't just cook through the specials quick enough to actually make them not a big deal because reality is the longer they live the more of a problem they become i think we can all agree on that but as far as crowd control beautiful no no complaints come on i can't even i can't hardly see Yeah, if you, if you ADS, it goes in and out, but I feel like it doesn't... I don't know. Maybe there's no difference. kind of feel like ADS does more damage, but maybe not. You don't have to do anything. You just hold it. It is kind of dumb, though, that it can't stay ADS. I feel like that would also help, but maybe that's a bug. We're going to have enough time to finish it. Let's go! Let the excitement roll in. I know we're all excited. Okay, I hope that gets everybody out of here. Let's go. We cleared it. Somehow, some way. Another self-revive. We might need that on the way out of here. All right, the only thing left for me to do is get the heck out of here. This thing has been an adventure and all, but it's been more fun than it has been good. Let's just say that. Well, we made it over to the Xville safely, and boy, was that an adventure. It went exactly kind of how I anticipated. I figure it'd be good for crowd control, similar to the regular version of the Moors. However, with this one, it's still a struggle to take on those bounties. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Wouldn't rush to go out there and unlock this, but do unlock it at some point and have some fun. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace!